What's up, Eagles fans? Now it's time for us to take a look at the Eagles' second fourth-round pick here in the 2018 NFL Draft, and that's defensive end Josh Sweat from Florida State University, a player that both Greg Costell and I are very excited about because of his potential in Jim Schwartz's scheme. Greg, tell us why we should be excited. Well, first of all, when this kid came out of high school in Virginia, he was the number one defensive end prospect in the country. And then he had a major knee injury. But even given that, he was pretty impressive on tape. And you and I talked about his combine performance, yeah. his measurables, the athletic and explosive measurables, and coaches look at that. Those were off the charts. So hopefully that knee is coming back because he's has some very impressive tape. And so now when you look at the tape, you see how he was used at Florida State. And it was a way that you wouldn't expect from a big time pass rusher. No. He lined up often inside, yeah. namely in, in their base package as almost a four eye technique. And a four eye, everybody hears about one technique right. and three. A four eye means you are on the inside shade of the tackle. And that's exactly where Josh Sweat is lined up here on the inside shade of the tackle. You often see that with a three, four team, an under team. You're gonna see that here with Josh Sweat. And the other thing to take note of here, which I don't think you'll see a lot of in the NFL, certainly with the Eagles, is he has both hands on the ground. He's in a four-point stance. He did that a lot at Florida State. Now, I don't think when you line up that way, you can really come off the ball with the same kind of quickness and explosiveness that you'd really like to see. And he has that kind of quickness off the ball. And that's often, that four-point stance, that, that's often what you see from two-gapping defensive yes, linemen yes. in a three-four scheme. So right. That's what Which we is not say. the Jim Schwartz scheme. No, and no. that's what you kind of see when you right. say that, that he wasn't really playing right. in the scheme right. that would allow him to get upfield. This is what we're talking about. That being said, he was still able to disrupt yeah. plays in the backfield. Well, and again, you're going to see it here where he takes on the center who tries to come over to make an angle and leverage block on him and he does a real nice job see this is a classic example of just using sort of strength your hands well able to control and kind of displace him just enough to clear the edge and get to the quarterback that was a real nice job yeah so now we're going to see him this is back week one of this season one of the biggest games uh, on the schedule in coming into the year Florida State, Alabama, you see Josh Sweat, it's in the red zone. This time he's not lined up as a four eye. He's lined up almost like a six technique over the tight end, but he's still inside. He's going to have to deal with right, extra traffic. Right. Which raises an interesting question. He's the kind of player that for Philadelphia, he can line up at D tackle in certain situations and certainly at DN, which we'll see with the next shot. But again, if you can go back there, Fran, what I really want people to see right here is watch, look at this, right there, great, great freeze. You're going to see the way he uses his hands and totally displaces the right hand, the right arm of the uh, right tackle for Alabama. Does a great, great job, wins the leverage game. Little things like that, that's so critical. That's what people say when you hear them say, oh, he's got, has to get better with technique. Right. That's technique. He literally used his hands, displaced and moved the right arm of the tackle, and then was able to clear him and make the play. Now, when you watch him, you talk about a plan of attack as a pass rusher right. in terms of being able to use those hands to attack and, and be able to get an offensive lineman on his toes. And that's exactly Exactly we're going to see here and this is the kind of play Greg where if you're going to try and project him to what the Eagles are going to ask him to do this is what you're going to see yeah, and, and this isn't quite a wide nine where he's really wide but he's wide because he's outside the offensive tackle so this is the, and again look at him he's in a four-point yeah. stance which he will not be lined up no. wide in the NFL but what he does here if you let this run and then you can slow it down as much as you can look right there one hand to try to create right there with the one hand, and then the swipe. It's a one-hand swipe, and you can also use the two-hand swipe. But here, it's a beautiful one-hand swipe to clear the edge, and then he does a nice job getting low. Look at him right here, turning, and see, look at that foot right there, facing the quarterback. Yep. The ability not just to clear the edge, but then to flatten and close. That's the critical piece. That's something we spoke about last year with Derek Barnett, and you saw that with his feet. This is a really nice job by Josh Schwett doing the same thing. Yeah, you see him run the hoop here, stay yeah. balanced, and be able to finish. Accelerate. Right. Being able to do that and accelerate when you're yeah. off balance like that, that's, that's and you can look at trait. that foot when it's planted and see which way it's turned. If it's turned upfield, you usually get pushed past the quarterback. Mm -hmm. If it's turned toward the quarterback, you can flatten and close. So we talk about Josh Sweat making that transition to the Eagles' one gap attacking front. This is why I think the Eagles' defensive staff is very excited yep. about the prospects of Josh Sweat.